My beloved child, there are people in your life who appear to be close to you, who share your home, your meals, and your moments of vulnerability. But I must warn you, not everyone who is close to you has your best interests at heart. There is one among you who harbors intentions that are not aligned with my will for your life. This person, despite their outward appearance of loyalty, is destined to bring deception and hurt if you are not vigilant. It is a painful reality to face, but the truth is that deception often comes from those we least expect. The enemy is cunning and often works through those who are closest to us. He knows that the greatest pain comes from betrayal by a trusted friend or loved one. This person who sleeps in your bed, who shares your food, may be influenced by forces that seek to lead you astray, to cloud your judgment, and to pull you away from the path I have set for you. I am not telling you this to make you fearful, but to open your eyes to the reality of spiritual warfare. The enemy's tactics are subtle, and his deceptions are often wrapped in a cloak of familiarity. You must be discerning, my child. Pray for wisdom and discernment so that you can see the true intentions of those around you. I am here to guide you, to protect you from harm, but you must be willing to listen to my voice and heed my warnings. Do not allow your love and trust to blind you to the truth. Love does not mean ignoring the red flags or denying the reality of someone's harmful behavior. True love is rooted in truth, and it is not afraid to confront deception and sin. If you feel uneasy about someone in your life, bring those concerns to me in prayer. I will reveal to you what you need to know, and I will give you the strength to take the necessary actions to protect yourself. Remember, my child, that I am your ultimate protector. No weapon formed against you shall prosper as long as you remain under my care. But you must also do your part. Guard your heart in your home. Be mindful of who you allow into your inner circle. Not everyone who comes into your life is sent by me. Some are sent by the enemy to distract, deceive, and destroy. But with my help, you can discern who is truly for you and who is against you. If you trust in my guidance and are committed to discerning the truth, right, I will trust in God's wisdom to protect me from deception. Let this be your declaration of faith. I know it is difficult to think that someone close to you could be a source of harm. But you must remember that your battle is not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual forces that seek to disrupt the work I am doing in your life. The person who may bring deception is not your enemy, but a tool being used by the enemy. Pray for this person, but do not ignore the signs that I place before you. It is possible to love someone and still take the steps necessary to protect yourself from their harmful actions. I have given you the Holy Spirit to guide you into all truth. Trust in that guidance. When you feel a sense of unease or when something does not feel right, do not dismiss it. That is my spirit speaking to you, urging you to be cautious. You are not alone in this, my child. I am with you every step of the way, ready to provide the wisdom and strength you need to navigate these challenges. Your journey with me is one of trust and obedience. Trust that I will never lead you astray, and be obedient to the promptings of my spirit. When you do, you will find that even in the midst of deception, I will turn all things to work for your good. The pain of betrayal will not define you, but it will refine you, making you stronger and more resilient in your faith. If you believe that I will turn even deception into a stepping stone for your growth, right, God will turn all things for my good. Let this be your affirmation of trust. In this journey, you will encounter many challenges, and some will come from those closest to you. But do not fear, for I am with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I am your strong tower, your refuge in times of trouble. When others fail you, I will always be there, steadfast and true. 
You are my beloved child, and I will guide you through every trial, every deception, and every challenge that comes your way. Keep your eyes fixed on me, and do not be swayed by the actions of others. I am your rock, your foundation. As you build your life on me, you will find that no storm, no betrayal, no deception can shake you. You are strong in me, and with my help, you will overcome every obstacle. Trust in my love, trust in my protection, and know that I am always working for your good, even when it seems like everything around you is falling apart. If you are committed to building your life on my solid foundation, right, my foundation is in God alone. Let this be your declaration of strength and security. My dear child, as you navigate the complexities of relationships, remember that I am your guide. I will never leave you to face these challenges alone. I am here, always ready to provide the wisdom, strength, and protection you need. When you feel overwhelmed, turn to me. When you feel deceived, seek my truth. When you feel alone, rest in my presence. I am your father, and I will never abandon you. Together, we will walk this path, and I will lead you to a place of peace, security, and joy. If you believe in my eternal presence and trust in my guidance, right, I am safe in God's care. Let this be your final affirmation, sealing your trust in me. My beloved child, I have been watching over you with great care, and today I want to remind you of the protection that surrounds you. There are forces in this world that seek to bring darkness and despair into your life, but know that you are not alone. My presence is a shield that surrounds you, keeping you safe from the evil that lurks in the shadows. When you feel overwhelmed or fearful, remember that I am with you, guiding your steps and ensuring that no harm will befall you as long as you remain in my light. You may sometimes wonder why difficulties still arise if I am protecting you. Understand that these challenges are not meant to harm you, but to strengthen you. Each trial you face is an opportunity to grow closer to me, to deepen your faith, and to learn the lessons necessary for your spiritual journey. My protection does not mean the absence of trials, but the assurance that no trial will ever break you. Instead, it will refine you, making you stronger and more resilient. In the moments of doubt, when the enemy tries to sow fear and uncertainty in your heart, turn to me. Pray without ceasing, and let your heart be filled with my peace. The enemy's greatest weapon is fear, but fear has no power over a heart that is anchored in my love. Trust in my plan, even when you cannot see the way forward. I have promised never to leave you nor forsake you, and I keep my promises. There will be times when you feel the weight of the world pressing down on you. In those times, remember that my protection is not just physical but also spiritual. I am guarding your heart and mind, protecting you from the lies and deceptions of the enemy. Stay close to me, immerse yourself in my word, and let my truth be your armor. This world is full of distractions and temptations, but none can overpower the one who trusts in me completely. I ask you now, my beloved, to rest in the knowledge that you are safe with me. Let go of your fears, your worries, and your anxieties. Place them in my hands and watch as I turn them into peace, joy, and security. You are my precious child and nothing can separate you from my love. My protection is eternal, unyielding, and ever-present. Let this truth fill your heart with courage and confidence. If you believe that my love and protection are surrounding you today, right, I am strong and protected by God's love. Let this be your declaration of faith. Listen closely, my dear one, for the angels I have sent to you carry messages of great importance. They see what you cannot see, and they know what lies ahead. Their warnings are not to instill fear, but to guide you away from the paths that lead to destruction. There are people and situations in your life that may seem harmless, 
but the angels know the true intentions behind them. Trust in the messages they bring, for they are my messengers, sent to keep you safe from harm. There are times when you feel an uneasy sensation, a small voice within that urges you to be cautious. This is not mere coincidence, it is the whisper of the angels, guiding you to tread carefully. When you feel this, do not ignore it. Instead, seek my wisdom in prayer, and I will reveal to you what you need to know. The angels are ever vigilant, watching over you as you go about your day. They are there to help you avoid the traps that the enemy has set in your path. You must also be aware of the relationships in your life. Not everyone who enters your life has good intentions. Some are sent by the enemy to bring discord, distraction, and destruction. The angels are saddened when they see you placing your trust in those who are not worthy of it. I urge you to seek discernment, to ask for clarity in your relationships. Let the angels guide you to those who will uplift and support you, and away from those who would cause you harm. When you receive these warnings, act upon them with faith. Do not hesitate to make the changes necessary to protect your spiritual well-being. This may mean walking away from certain people or situations, but know that in doing so, you are choosing the path of righteousness. The angels are with you every step of the way, providing comfort and assurance as you make these difficult choices. They are there to support you, to give you strength when you feel weak. Remember that the warnings of the angels are a gift from me, a sign of my deep love and care for you. They are not meant to be a burden, but a blessing. Embrace their guidance with a grateful heart, knowing that they are leading you toward a life of peace, joy, and fulfillment. You are never alone in your struggles, for the angels are always by your side, lining your path and protecting you from harm. If you trust in the guidance of the angels and believe that they are watching over you, right, I am guided and protected by God's angels. Let this be your affirmation today. My beloved, I know the desires of your heart and the needs that weigh heavily upon you. You have sought financial stability and the means to provide for yourself and your loved ones. I want you to know that I am aware of these needs and I have not forgotten you. I am the source of all blessings, including financial prosperity. However, I want you to understand that financial blessings are not just about wealth, but about being entrusted with resources that can be used for good. When I bless you with financial abundance, it is with the purpose of fulfilling not only your needs, but also the needs of others. You are a steward of the blessings I bestow upon you, and with great blessing comes great responsibility. Use your resources wisely, with a heart of generosity. Look for opportunities to help those who are less fortunate, to support causes that align with my will, and to be a light in the world through your giving. There are times when financial struggles may seem overwhelming, but remember that I am your provider. Trust in me, even when the situation seems dire. Seek my guidance in all your financial decisions, and I will lead you to paths of prosperity. Do not allow the pursuit of wealth to consume you, for money is a tool, not the ultimate goal. Keep your heart focused on me, and I will ensure that you have all that you need. I also want to remind you that true wealth is not measured by material possessions, but by the richness of your spirit. Cultivate a heart of contentment, knowing that I will provide for you in every season. When you prioritize your relationship with me, everything else will fall into place. Do not worry about tomorrow, for I am already there, preparing the way for you. Have faith in my provision, and you will see miracles unfold in your life. As you receive financial blessings, remain humble and grateful. Acknowledge that these blessings come from me, and use them to glorify my name. Let your actions reflect your gratitude, and let your generosity be a testament to my goodness. When you give freely, you open the door for even greater blessings to flow into your life. Remember, it is in giving that you receive, and I am pleased when you give with a joyful heart. 
If you believe in the financial blessings I am preparing for you, right, I trust in God's provision for my life. Let this be your declaration of faith. My child, the journey of life is filled with many twists and turns, and at times, the path ahead may seem unclear. But I am here to guide you through every step of your journey. I have given you the gift of the Holy Spirit, who dwells within you, to be your counselor, your comforter, and your guide. When you feel lost or uncertain, turn to me in prayer, and I will provide the clarity you seek. Spiritual guidance is not just about knowing what to do next, it is about deepening your relationship with me. As you draw closer to me, you will begin to hear my voice more clearly. I speak to you in many ways, through scripture, through the quiet whispers of your heart, and through the circumstances of your life. Be still, and listen for my voice. It is in the stillness that you will find the answers you seek. There will be moments when the world's noise drowns out my voice. In those times, I encourage you to step away from the distractions and seek solitude with me. Let your heart be quieted and allow my peace to fill you. The more you seek me, the more you will find me. I am always here, waiting for you to turn to me for guidance. Trust that I will lead you on the path that is best for you. Remember, spiritual growth is a journey, not a destination. Each day, you have the opportunity to grow closer to me, to learn more about my will for your life, and to become more like the person I created you to be. Do not be discouraged by setbacks or mistakes. They are part of the process, and I am using them to shape you and mold you into a vessel for my glory. As you seek spiritual guidance, I ask you to remain open and teachable. Let go of the need to control every aspect of your life and trust that I am in control. My plans for you are good, and they are designed to bring you hope and a future. When you surrender your will to mine, you will find peace, joy, and fulfillment beyond what you could ever imagine. If you are ready to receive my guidance and trust in my plan for your life, right, I trust in God's perfect plan for me. Let this be your prayer today to him, my dear child. The world is filled with many voices, each vying for your attention. Some of these voices are uplifting and encouraging, but others are deceptive, leading you away from the path I have set before you. It is crucial that you learn to discern the difference between these voices and to avoid the negative influences that seek to pull you away from me. Negative influences come in many forms, people, situations, and even your own thoughts. It is easy to fall into the trap of negativity, especially when you are surrounded by it. But I want you to know that you have the power to choose what you allow into your life. Guard your heart and mind, and be mindful of the company you keep. Surround yourself with those who uplift and encourage you, and distance yourself from those who bring you down. Your thoughts are powerful, and they can shape your reality. Be careful not to dwell on negativity, but instead, focus on what is true, noble, and praiseworthy. When negative thoughts enter your mind, counter them with my word. Let your thoughts be filled with my promises, and let your heart be filled with my peace. You have the power to choose your thoughts, and I encourage you to choose wisely. It is also important to recognize the influence of the media and the content you consume. What you watch, listen to, and read can have a profound impact on your spirit. I urge you to be discerning in your choices, seeking out content that edifies and strengthens your faith. Let your entertainment be a source of inspiration, not a gateway to negativity. What you feed your mind and spirit will manifest in your life. When you find yourself in a situation where negative influences are unavoidable, turn to me for strength. Pray for wisdom and discernment, and I will help you navigate these challenges. Remember that you are not alone in this battle. I am with you, guiding you and protecting you from harm. With my help, you can overcome any negative influence and stay true to the path I have laid out for you. 
If you are committed to avoiding negative influences and staying true to my word, right, I choose to focus on God's truth and goodness. Let this be your affirmation of faith today. My beloved, faith and prayer are the cornerstones of your relationship with me. They are the channels through which you connect with my heart and access the power of my love. Without faith, it is impossible to please me, and without prayer, your spirit will wither like a plant without water. I urge you to cultivate a life of deep faith and consistent prayer, for it is through these that you will experience my presence in profound ways. Faith is not just believing in my existence, it is trusting in my character and my promises. It is the assurance that I am who I say I am and that I will do what I have promised. Faith is the anchor of your soul, keeping you grounded even when the storms of life rage around you. When you place your faith in me, you are placing your trust in the one who holds the universe in his hands. I will never let you down. Prayer is your lifeline to me. It is more than just asking for what you need, it is a conversation with your creator. Through prayer, you can express your deepest fears, hopes, and desires, and you can listen to my voice speaking to your heart. Prayer is not a ritual, it is a relationship. It is through prayer that you will find peace, guidance, and strength to face whatever comes your way. I know that sometimes prayer can feel difficult, especially when you are faced with challenges or when it seems like your prayers are not being answered. But I want you to persevere in prayer, trusting that I hear every word. My timing is perfect, and my answers are always in your best interest. Do not lose heart, but continue to pray with faith, knowing that I am working all things together for your good. Faith and prayer go hand in hand. As you pray, your faith will grow, and as your faith grows, your prayers will become more powerful. Let your life be a testimony of what happens when a person places their trust in me and lives a life of prayer. Through faith and prayer, you will move mountains, overcome obstacles, and experience the fullness of my love and grace. If you are committed to living a life of faith and prayer, right, I will trust in God and pray without ceasing. Let this be your declaration today to am my dear child, the journey of life is filled with moments of joy and moments of pain, but one of the greatest gifts I have given you is the ability to start anew through repentance and forgiveness. Repentance is more than just feeling sorry for your wrongdoings, it is a turning away from sin and a turning towards me. It is a decision to leave behind the old ways and embrace the new life I have for you. When you come to me in repentance, I am always ready to forgive. My love for you is boundless, and my mercy is unending. No sin is too great for my forgiveness, and no heart is too broken for me to heal. When you confess your sins and turn away from them, I wipe them away completely, as if they never existed. You are made new in my sight, a beloved child restored to full fellowship with me. Forgiveness is not just about receiving my forgiveness, it is also about extending forgiveness to others. I know that this can be difficult, especially when you have been deeply hurt. But I ask you to forgive, not because the person deserves it, but because it is what I have commanded you to do. Forgiveness is the key to your own freedom and healing. It releases you from the chains of bitterness and allows my peace to reign in your heart. As you forgive others, you will experience a deeper level of my loving grace. You will begin to see others as I see them, through the lens of love and compassion. Forgiveness does not mean that what was done to you was right, but it does mean that you are choosing to let go of the pain and trust me to bring justice in my own time and way. When you forgive, you are opening the door to greater blessings in your life. I am calling you today to examine your heart. Are there areas where you need to repent? Are there people you need to forgive? Do not delay, for the sooner you turn to me, the sooner you will experience the fullness of my love and peace. Let go of the past and allow me to bring healing and restoration to your life. 
I am here, with open arms, ready to welcome you into a new season of grace and blessing. If you are ready to repent and forgive, right, I choose to walk in God's forgiveness and love. Let this be your prayer of commitment today. In every aspect of your life, my dear child, I am here with you, guiding, protecting, and loving you. Trust in me, seek me in all that you do, and you will find the peace and joy that your heart longs for. I am your father, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. Together, we will walk through this life, hand in hand, until the day we are united forever in my kingdom. Be strong, be courageous, and know that you are deeply loved. My beloved, your heart is the very center of your being, the place where your thoughts, desires, and intentions are born. It is from your heart that your words flow, and from your words, your actions take shape. This is why I tell you, above all else, guard your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. What you allow into your heart will determine the course of your life. Therefore, you must be vigilant and intentional in protecting it from harmful influences. The world is full of distractions and temptations that seek to capture your heart and lead it away from me. The enemy knows that if he can corrupt your heart, he can disrupt the flow of life within you. This is why you must guard your heart with all diligence. Be mindful of what you allow to enter through your eyes and ears, for these are the gateways to your heart. Fill your mind with my word, and let it be the standard by which you judge all things. When you guard your heart, you are not only protecting yourself from harm, but you are also creating a sanctuary for my presence within you. I desire to dwell in your heart, to fill it with my love, peace, and joy. But for this to happen, you must clear away anything that would compete with my presence. Let go of bitterness, unforgiveness, and any thoughts that do not align with my truth. Make room for me, and I will fill your heart to overflowing. Your heart is precious to me, and I want it to be a place of purity and light. But you must be willing to surrender it to me completely. Trust that I know what is best for you, even when it is difficult to let go of certain things. I promise that whatever you surrender to me, I will replace with something far greater. Let your heart be a place where my love reigns supreme and you will experience a life of true fulfillment. Remember, my child, that your heart is the source of all that you do. If your heart is healthy and aligned with me, your life will reflect that. But if your heart is filled with negativity, fear, or doubt, it will manifest in your actions and decisions. Guard your heart and let it be a reflection of my love and goodness. When you do this, you will walk in the fullness of life that I have promised you. If you commit to guarding your heart and keeping it aligned with my will, right, I will guard my heart with God's truth. Let this be your pledge of commitment today. My dear one, friendships are a gift from me, a source of joy, support, and companionship. However, not all friendships are beneficial for your spiritual growth. There are those who come into your life with hidden agendas who seek to lead you away from the path I have set for you. These false friends may appear charming and trustworthy, but their true intentions are far from pure. I urge you to be discerning in your relationships and to seek my guidance in choosing your friends wisely. The enemy often uses those closest to you to sow seeds of doubt, confusion, and sin. A false friend may encourage you to compromise your values, to indulge in behavior that is not pleasing to me, or to distance yourself from my presence. These individuals may not even realize they are being used by the enemy, but their influence can be detrimental to your spiritual well-being. You must be vigilant and not allow yourself to be swayed by their words or actions. True friends are those who encourage you in your walk with me, who hold you accountable, and who love you enough to speak the truth even when it is difficult. These are the friends who will stand by you in times of trial, who will pray with you and for you, and who will help you grow in your faith. 
seek out such friendships and be that kind of friend to others. Together, you will strengthen each other and build each other up in love. When you sense that a friendship is leading you away from me, do not be afraid to step back. It is better to have fewer friends who are true than to surround yourself with many who are false. I know that it can be painful to distance yourself from someone you care about, but remember that your relationship with me must always come first. I will bring the right people into your life, those who will support and uplift you according to my perfect plan. Pray for discernment, my child, and I will help you recognize the true nature of those around you. I will give you the strength to walk away from toxic relationships and the wisdom to nurture those that are good for your soul. Remember that I am your closest friend and I will never lead you astray. Trust in me and I will guide you in all your relationships. If you trust in my guidance and are committed to seeking true friendships, right, I choose friends who lead me closer to God. Let this be your affirmation of faith. My beloved, your words hold incredible power. With them, you can build up or tear down, encourage or discourage, bring life or bring death. I want you to understand that the words you speak have a profound impact on your life and the lives of those around you. Every word you utter is like a seed that will grow and bear fruit, either good or bad. Therefore, I urge you to choose your words carefully and to speak life in every situation. The enemy knows the power of words, and he will try to tempt you to speak words of negativity, doubt, and despair. But I call you to rise above these temptations. Let your words be a reflection of my love, my truth, and my grace. Speak words that bring healing, encouragement, and hope. When you do, you align yourself with my will, and you open the door for my blessings to flow into your life. It is not always easy to control your tongue, especially in moments of anger, frustration, or fear. But I am here to help you. When you feel the urge to speak words that you know are not in line with my will, take a moment to pause and pray. Ask me to give you the wisdom and self-control you need to speak only what is good and edifying. Remember, once a word is spoken, it cannot be taken back. So choose your words wisely. I also want you to be mindful of the words you speak to yourself. Negative self-talk can be just as damaging as negative words spoken to others. I created you in my image, and I want you to see yourself as I see you, precious, loved, and full of potential. Speak words of affirmation and truth over your life. Declare my promises and remind yourself of who you are in me. As you do, your faith will grow and you will become the person I created you to be. Your words can also be a powerful tool for spreading my love and truth to others. Use your voice to share the good news of my love, to encourage those who are struggling and to speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. Let your words be a light in the darkness, a beacon of hope in a world that desperately needs it. When you speak life, you are sowing seeds of righteousness that will bear fruit for eternity. If you are committed to speaking life and using your words for good, right, I will speak words of life and truth. Let this be your declaration of faith today. My child, one of the greatest traps the enemy sets for you is the trap of pride. Pride is a subtle and dangerous sin that can take root in your heart without you even realizing it. It causes you to rely on your own strength rather than on me, to seek your own glory rather than mine, and to elevate yourself above others. But I want you to know that pride leads to destruction, while humility leads to honor. I call you to humble yourself before me, for it is in humility that you will find true greatness. Pride tells you that you are self-sufficient, that you do not need my help or the help of others. It blinds you to your own weaknesses and flaws, making you resistant to correction and guidance. But the truth is, you are not created to walk this journey alone. You need me, and you need the support of the community I have placed around you. 
Humility acknowledges this truth and opens the door for my grace to work in your life. When you humble yourself before me, you are acknowledging that I am the source of all good things in your life. You are recognizing that without me, you can do nothing. This is not a sign of weakness, but of wisdom. For when you rely on me, you are tapping into a strength far greater than your own. I delight in lifting up those who humble themselves, and I will exalt you in due time if you trust in me. Pride also has a way of damaging your relationships with others. It causes you to look down on those who are different from you or who you perceive to be less capable. It creates a barrier between you and others, preventing the deep, meaningful connections that I desire for you. But when you approach others with humility, you create an atmosphere of respect, love, and understanding. You become a vessel of my grace, bringing unity and peace wherever you go. I know that humbling yourself can be difficult, especially in a world that often glorifies pride and self-promotion. But remember, my ways are not the ways of the world. I resist the proud, but I give grace to the humble. When you choose the path of humility, you are choosing to walk in my will, and you will be blessed beyond measure. Let go of the need to prove yourself, and trust that I will lift you up in ways you cannot even imagine. If you are ready to embrace humility and submit to my will, right, I choose humility and trust in God's grace. Let this be your prayer today. My dear one, unforgiveness is a heavy burden that you are never meant to carry. When you hold on to grudges and refuse to forgive those who have wronged you, it is like carrying a weight that drags you down, preventing you from moving forward in your spiritual journey. I want you to release this burden, for unforgiveness not only harms your soul, but it also hinders the flow of my blessings in your life. Forgiveness is not just for the benefit of the one who hurt you, it is for your benefit as well. I understand the pain and hurt that others have caused you. I see the wounds that have been inflicted upon your heart. But I also see the healing and freedom that awaits you when you choose to forgive. Forgiveness is not about excusing the wrong that was done to you, it is about freeing yourself from the prison of bitterness and resentment. When you forgive, you are choosing to let go of the past and to trust me with your pain. Unforgiveness is like a poison that slowly eats away at your soul. It clouds your mind, hardens your heart, and separates you from my love. The enemy delights in keeping you in a state of unforgiveness because he knows that it will prevent you from experiencing the fullness of life that I have for you. But I have come to set you free from this trap. I have given you the power to forgive, just as I have forgiven you. Forgiveness is an act of faith. It is trusting that I am a just and righteous God, and that I will deal with the wrongs that have been done to you in my own way and in my own time. It is releasing your right to seek revenge or to hold a grudge, and leaving it all in my hands. When you forgive, you are not condoning this sin, you are choosing to release it to me, allowing me to bring healing and restoration to your heart. I know that forgiveness can be difficult, especially when the wound is deep. But I promise you this, when you choose to forgive, you will experience a peace that surpasses all understanding. You will feel a weight lifted off your shoulders, and you will be able to move forward with joy and freedom. Forgiveness is a gift that you give to yourself, a gift that opens the door to my healing and love. If you are ready to release the burden of unforgiveness, right, I choose to forgive and walk in God's peace. Let this be your declaration of freedom today. My beloved, faithfulness is a quality that I highly value. It is the mark of a true follower of mine, someone who is steadfast and reliable, who keeps their word and honors their commitments. I call you to be faithful in all that you do, for it is through faithfulness that you will reflect my character to the world. In a world that is often fickle and unreliable, your faithfulness will shine like a beacon of light, drawing others to me. Faithfulness begins with your relationship with me. 
I have called you to a life of devotion, to seek me first in all things, and to remain steadfast in your love for me. This means spending time in prayer, reading my word, and living according to my commandments. It means trusting in my promises, even when circumstances seem to contradict them. When you are faithful to me, you will find that I am faithful to you in return, blessing you with my presence and my provision. I also call you to be faithful in your relationships with others. Be a person of your word, someone who others can rely on. If you make a promise, keep it. If you commit to something, follow through. Your faithfulness in small things will prepare you for greater responsibilities. Remember that I am watching, and I will reward those who are faithful in all that they do. Your faithfulness is a testimony to the world of my faithfulness. Faithfulness also means persevering in the face of challenges. There will be times when it is difficult to remain committed, when the road ahead seems long and hard. But I encourage you to stay the course. Do not grow weary in doing good, for in due time you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. I am with you every step of the way, giving you the strength and courage you need to remain faithful. In a world that often promotes instant gratification and self-interest, faithfulness is a rare and precious quality. But I have called you to be different, to live by a higher standard. Your faithfulness will be a testimony to others of my love and grace. It will show the world that there is a better way, a way that leads to true fulfillment and lasting joy. Be faithful, my child, and I will bless you beyond measure. If you are committed to being faithful in all areas of your life, right, I will remain faithful to God and to my commitments. Let this be your promise today to Him, my dear one, the world is full of chaos, noise, and turmoil, but I offer you a peace that surpasses all understanding. It is a peace that comes not from the absence of trouble, but from the presence of me in your life. When you rest in my presence, you will find a calmness and serenity that the world cannot give. This peace is my gift to you, and I want you to experience it in every area of your life. The peace I give you is not dependent on your circumstances. It is not something that comes and goes with the changing tides of life. It is a deep, abiding peace that remains with you, even in the midst of storms. When you focus your heart and mind on me, you will find that this peace becomes your constant companion. It will guard your heart and mind, keeping you steady and secure, no matter what challenges you face. To experience my peace, you must learn to trust me completely. Trust that I am in control, that I know what is best for you, and that I am working all things together for your good. When you let go of your worries and place them in my hands, you will find that peace flows into your heart like a river. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, bring your concerns to me in prayer, and I will give you my peace. My peace is also found in quietness and rest. In the busyness of life, it is easy to become overwhelmed and stressed. But I call you to come away with me, to find moments of stillness where you can rest in my presence. In these moments, you will be refreshed and renewed. My peace will fill your soul, giving you the strength to face whatever lies ahead. Make time for these moments with me, and you will find that my peace will sustain you. Remember, my child, that my peace is not just for your own benefit. It is something that you can share with others. As you walk in my peace, you become a vessel of peace to those around you. Your calmness and serenity will be a witness to my love, drawing others to me. Let my peace flow through you, bringing healing and comfort to those who are troubled and weary. If you desire to rest in my peace and share it with others, right, I will rest in God's peace and be a vessel of peace to others. Let this be your affirmation today. My beloved child, grace is one of the greatest gifts I have given you. It is by grace that you have been saved, not by your own works, but by my love and mercy. 
Grace is unearned, undeserved, and yet freely given. I want you to embrace this gift fully, for it is the foundation of your relationship with me. Through grace, you are forgiven, redeemed, and made new. It is through grace that you are empowered to live a life that reflects my love and goodness. Grace is more than just forgiveness for your sins, it is the power to live a transformed life. When you embrace my grace, you are embracing the freedom that comes from knowing that you are no longer bound by the chains of sin and shame. You are free to live the life I have called you to, a life of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. My grace is sufficient for you, no matter what challenges you face. I also want you to extend the same grace to others that I have extended to you. Just as I have forgiven you, so you must forgive those who wrong you. Just as I have shown you mercy, so you must show mercy to others. Grace is not something to be hoarded, but something to be shared. When you show grace to others, you are reflecting my character and bringing my love into the world. There may be times when you feel unworthy of my grace, when you believe that you have fallen too far to be forgiven. But I want you to know that my grace knows no bounds. There is no sin too great, no failure too deep, that my grace cannot cover. Come to me just as you are, with all your flaws and mistakes, and I will wash you clean. My grace is a well that never runs dry, and I am always ready to pour it out upon you. I also want you to understand that grace is not a license to sin, but an invitation to live a life that honors me. When you truly understand the depth of my grace, you will be compelled to live in a way that reflects your gratitude. You will want to please me, not out of fear or obligation, but out of love. Let my grace be the motivation for everything you do, and you will find that your life becomes a beautiful expression of my love. If you are ready to embrace my grace fully and extend it to others, write, I am grateful for God's grace and will share it with others. Let this be your declaration today. My dear child, the world often tells you that you must be strong, self-reliant, and independent. But I want you to know that true strength is found in recognizing your weakness and relying on my power. In your own strength, you are limited, but in me, you have access to unlimited power and resources. It is in your moments of weakness that my strength is made perfect. When you are weak, then you are strong, because you are leaning on me. There is no shame in admitting that you need help, that you cannot do it all on your own. In fact, it is in these moments of humility that I am able to work most powerfully in your life. When you surrender your weaknesses to me, I can turn them into strengths. I can take your brokenness and make it whole, your emptiness and fill it with my presence, your despair and turn it into hope. Trust in me and let my strength carry you. The enemy will try to convince you that weakness is a flaw, something to be ashamed of. But I tell you that it is in your weakness that my glory shines the brightest. When you rely on my strength, you become a vessel of my power and love. You are able to do things that you could never do on your own. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Do not be afraid to ask for help, whether it is from me or from those I have placed in your life. You are not meant to walk this journey alone. I have given you a community of believers to support and encourage you. Lean on them, just as you lean on me. Together, you will find the strength to overcome any obstacle, to face any challenge, and to fulfill the calling I have placed on your life. Remember, my child, that your value is not determined by your abilities or achievements. Your worth is found in me, and I love you just as you are, weaknesses and all. Let go of the need to prove yourself and rest in the knowledge that you are enough because I am enough. When you are weak, I am strong and together there is nothing that we cannot accomplish. If you are ready to embrace your weaknesses and let my strength be your power, right, I will trust in God's strength and my weakness. 
Let this be your affirmation of faith today. My beloved, I have called you to a life of service, to be my hands and feet in a world that is in desperate need of love and compassion. Serving others is not just an act of kindness, it is a reflection of my heart. When you serve, you are living out the love that I have poured into you. You are showing the world what it means to be my disciple. I have blessed you so that you can be a blessing to others, and I am calling you to step into this role with joy and humility. Service begins with a heart of compassion. When you see someone in need, do not turn away, but let your heart be moved with compassion, just as mine is. I see the pain, the suffering, the loneliness in the world, and I am calling you to be a light in the darkness. Whether it is through a kind word, a helping hand, or a sacrificial act of love, you have the power to make a difference in someone's life. Let your actions speak louder than words, and let your love be evident in all that you do. I also want you to know that service is not just for the benefit of others, but for your own spiritual growth as well. When you serve, you are drawing closer to me, for I am a servant at heart. I came not to be served, but to serve, and I am calling you to follow in my footsteps. As you serve, you will find that your heart is filled with joy, your faith is strengthened, and your perspective is widened. You will see the world through my eyes, and your life will be richer for it. Service is not always easy, and it often requires sacrifice. There will be times when you are tired, when you feel unappreciated, or when the needs seem overwhelming. But I want you to remember that you are not serving in your own strength, but in mine. I will give you the strength you need, the love you need, and the resources you need to serve faithfully. Trust in me, and I will equip you for every good work. I also want you to know that no act of service is too small or insignificant. Whether you are serving one person or many, whether you are giving of your time, your talents, or your resources, every act of service is valuable in my eyes. You may never know the impact of your service, but I see it, and I will reward you for your faithfulness. Serve with a heart of humility, and know that you are making a difference in my kingdom. If you are ready to live a life of service and compassion, right, I will serve others with God's love and compassion. Let this be your commitment today. My dear one, I have called you to be holy, just as I am holy. Holiness is not about perfection, but about being set apart for my purposes. It is about living a life that is pleasing to me, a life that reflects my character and my love. In a world that is often filled with darkness and sin, I am calling you to be a light, to stand out as one who is different, one who is committed to living according to my standards. Holiness begins in the heart. It is not just about outward actions, but about the condition of your heart before me. I want your heart to be pure, free from sin, and fully devoted to me. This means guarding your thoughts, your desires, and your intentions. It means resisting the temptations of the world and choosing to follow my ways instead. I know that this is not always easy, but I am here to help you. My spirit is within you, guiding you and giving you the strength to live a holy life. I also want you to understand that holiness is not about following a set of rules, but about being in a relationship with me. The closer you draw to me, the more you will desire to live a life that honors me. As you spend time in my presence, as you meditate on my word, and as you seek to know me more, you will find that holiness becomes a natural outflow of your relationship with me. It is not about striving, but about abiding in me. Living a holy life also means being different from the world. You are called to be in the world, but not the world. This means making choices that may go against the grain of society, standing up for what is right, even when it is unpopular, and living with integrity in every area of your life. I know that this can be challenging, but I want you to know that I am with you every step of the way. I will give you the courage and the strength to live for me. 
Holiness is not about being perfect, but about being set apart for my purposes. It is about being a vessel that I can use to bring my love and my light into the world. When you live a holy life, you are not only honoring me, but you are also positioning yourself to be used by me in powerful ways. I have great plans for your life, and as you pursue holiness, you will see those plans unfold in ways that you could never have imagined. If you are ready to pursue holiness and be set apart for me, right, I choose to live a holy life for God. Let this be your prayer of dedication today. My beloved, life is a journey, and I am calling you to walk it by faith. Faith is not about having all the answers or knowing exactly where the road will lead. It is about trusting me, even when the path ahead is unclear. I want you to know that I am with you on this journey, guiding your steps, and leading you to a place of blessing and fulfillment. I am asking you to trust me, to lean not on your own understanding, but to acknowledge me in all your ways, and I will make your path straight. There will be times on this journey when you feel lost, when the way forward seems uncertain, and when you are tempted to give up. But I want you to remember that I am the Good Shepherd, and I will never lead you astray. When you cannot see the way, trust that I am guiding you, even when the path is hidden from view. I am asking you to walk by faith, not by sight, to trust in my promises, even when you do not see the fulfillment yet. Faith is not just about believing in me, it is about trusting in my character and my goodness. It is about knowing that I am for you, that I love you, and that I am working all things together for your good. When you walk by faith, you are choosing to believe that I am in control, even when circumstances seem chaotic. You are choosing to believe that I am faithful, even when the answers to your prayers are delayed. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. This journey of faith will not always be easy, but I want you to know that it will be worth it. I am taking you to places you have never been before, to heights you have never imagined. But to get there, you must trust me, even when the road is difficult. There will be mountains to climb, valleys to walk through, and storms to endure. But through it all, I am with you, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. I also want you to know that you are not alone on this journey. I have placed others in your life to walk with you, to support you, and to encourage you. Together, you will strengthen each other's faith, and you will see my hand at work in ways that you never thought possible. Do not be afraid to reach out for help, to lean on others, and to share your burdens. You are part of a community of believers, and together, you will make it to the end. If you are ready to walk this journey of faith with me, right, I will trust God through every step of my journey. Let this be your declaration of faith and trust today. Instead, it will refine you, making you stronger and more resilient. In the moments of doubt, when the enemy tries to sow fear and uncertainty in your heart, turn to me. Pray without ceasing, and let your heart be filled with my peace. The enemy's greatest weapon is fear, but fear has no power over a heart that is anchored in my love. Trust in my plan, even when you cannot see the way forward. I have promised never to leave you nor forsake you, and I keep my promises. There will be times when you feel the weight of the world pressing down on you. In those times, Remember that my protection is not just physical, but also spiritual. I am guarding your heart and mind, protecting you from the lies and deceptions of the enemy. Stay close to me, immerse yourself in my word, and let my truth be your armor. This world is full of distractions and temptations, but none can overpower the one who trusts in me completely. I ask you now, my beloved, to rest in the knowledge that you are safe with me. Let go of your fears, your worries, and your anxieties. Place them in my hands, and watch as I turn them into peace, joy, and security. You are my precious child, and nothing can separate you from my love. 
My protection is eternal, unyielding, and ever-present. Let this truth fill your heart with courage and confidence. If you believe that my love and protection are surrounding you today, right, I am strong and protected by God's love. Let this be your declaration of faith. Listen closely, my dear one, for the angels I have sent to you carry messages of great importance. They see what you cannot see, and they know what lies ahead. Their warnings are not to instill fear, but to guide you away from the paths that lead to destruction. There are people and situations in your life that may seem harmless, but the angels know the true intentions behind them. Trust in the messages they bring, for they are my messengers, sent to keep you safe from harm. There are times when you feel an uneasy sensation, a small voice within that urges you to be cautious. This is not mere coincidence, it is the whisper of the angels, guiding you to tread carefully. When you feel this, do not ignore it. Instead, seek my wisdom in prayer, and I will reveal to you what you need to know. The angels are ever vigilant, watching over you as you go about your day. They are there to help you avoid the traps that the enemy has set in your path. You must also be aware of the relationships in your life. Not everyone who enters your life has good intentions. Some are sent by the enemy to bring discord, distraction, and destruction. The angels are saddened when they see you placing your trust in those who are not worthy of it. I urge you to seek discernment, to ask for clarity in your relationships. Let the angels guide you to those who will uplift and support you, and away from those who would cause you harm. When you receive these warnings, act upon them with faith. Do not hesitate to make the changes necessary to protect your spiritual well-being. This may mean walking away from certain people or situations, but know that in doing so, you are choosing the path of righteousness. The angels are with you every step of the way, providing comfort and assurance as you make these difficult choices. They are there to support you, to give you strength when you feel weak. Remember that the warnings of the angels are a gift from me, a sign of my deep love and care for you. They are not meant to be a burden, but a blessing. Embrace their guidance with a grateful heart, knowing that they are leading you toward a life of peace, joy, and fulfillment. You are never alone in your struggles, for the angels are always by your side, lining your path and protecting you from harm. If you trust in the guidance of the angels and believe that they are watching over you, right, I am guided and protected by God's angels. Let this be your affirmation today. My beloved, I know the desires of your heart and the needs that weigh heavily upon you. You have sought financial stability and the means to provide for yourself and your loved ones. I want you to know that I am aware of these needs and I have not forgotten you. I am the source of all blessings, including financial prosperity. However, I want you to understand that financial blessings are not just about wealth, but about being entrusted with resources that can be used for good. When I bless you with financial abundance, it is with the purpose of fulfilling not only your needs, but also the needs of others. You are a steward of the blessings I bestow upon you, and with great blessing comes great responsibility. Use your resources wisely, with a heart of generosity. Look for opportunities to help those who are less fortunate, to support causes that align with my will, and to be a light in the world through your giving. There are times when financial struggles may seem overwhelming, but remember that I am your provider. Trust in me, even when the situation seems dire. Seek my guidance in all your financial decisions, and I will lead you to paths of prosperity. Do not allow the pursuit of wealth to consume you, for money is a tool, not the ultimate goal. Keep your heart focused on me, and I will ensure that you have all that you need. I also want to remind you that true wealth is not measured by material possessions, but by the richness of your spirit. Cultivate a heart of contentment, knowing that I will provide for you in every season. When you prioritize your relationship with me, everything else will fall into place. 
Do not worry about tomorrow, for I am already there, preparing the way for you. Have faith in my provision, and you will see miracles unfold in your life. As you receive financial blessings, remain humble and grateful. Acknowledge that these blessings come from me, and use them to glorify my name. Let your actions reflect your gratitude, and let your generosity be a testament to my goodness. When you give freely, you open the door for even greater blessings to flow into your life. Remember, it is in giving that you receive, and I am pleased when you give with a joyful heart. If you believe in the financial blessings I am preparing for you, right, I trust in God's provision for my life. Let this be your declaration of faith. My child, the journey of life is filled with many twists and turns, and at times, the path ahead may seem unclear. But I am here to guide you through every step of your journey. I have given you the gift of the Holy Spirit, who dwells within you, to be your counselor, your comforter, and your guide. When you feel lost or uncertain, turn to me in prayer, and I will provide the clarity you seek. Spiritual guidance is not just about knowing what to do next, it is about deepening your relationship with me. As you draw closer to me, you will begin to hear my voice more clearly. I speak to you in many ways, through scripture, through the quiet whispers of your heart, and through the circumstances of your life. Be still, and listen for my voice. It is in the stillness that you will find the answers you seek. There will be moments when the world's noise drowns out my voice. In those times, I encourage you to step away from the distractions and seek solitude with me. Let your heart be quieted and allow my peace to fill you. The more you seek me, the more you will find me. I am always here, waiting for you to turn to me for guidance. Trust that I will lead you on the path that is best for you. Remember, spiritual growth is a journey, not a destination. Each day, you have the opportunity to grow closer to me, to learn more about my will for your life, and to become more like the person I created you to be. Do not be discouraged by setbacks or mistakes. They are part of the process, and I am using them to shape you and mold you into a vessel for my glory. As you seek spiritual guidance, I ask you to remain open and teachable. Let go of the need to control every aspect of your life and trust that I am in control. My plans for you are good and they are designed to bring you hope and a future. When you surrender your will to mine, you will find peace, joy and fulfillment beyond what you could ever imagine. If you are ready to receive my guidance and trust in my plan for your life, right? I trust in God's perfect plan for me. Let this be your prayer today to Him, my dear child. The world is filled with many voices, each vying for your attention. Some of these voices are uplifting and encouraging, but others are deceptive, leading you away from the path I have set before you. It is crucial that you learn to discern the difference between these voices and to avoid the negative influences that seek to pull you away from me. Negative influences come in many forms, people, situations, and even your own thoughts. It is easy to fall into the trap of negativity, especially when you are surrounded by it. But I want you to know that you have the power to choose what you allow into your life. Guard your heart and mind, and be mindful of the company you keep. Surround yourself with those who uplift and encourage you, and distance yourself from those who bring you down. Your thoughts are powerful, and they can shape your reality. Be careful not to dwell on negativity, but instead, focus on what is true, noble, and praiseworthy. When negative thoughts enter your mind, counter them with my word. Let your thoughts be filled with my promises, and let your heart be filled with my peace. You have the power to choose your thoughts, and I encourage you to choose wisely. It is also important to recognize the influence of the media and the content you consume. What you watch, listen to, and read can have a profound impact on your spirit. 
I urge you to be discerning in your choices, seeking out content that edifies and strengthens your faith. Let your entertainment be a source of inspiration, not a gateway to negativity. What you feed your mind and spirit will manifest in your life. When you find yourself in a situation where negative influences are unavoidable, turn to me for strength. Pray for wisdom and discernment, and I will help you navigate these challenges. Remember that you are not alone in this battle. I am with you, guiding you and protecting you from harm. With my help, you can overcome any negative influence and stay true to the path I have laid out for you. If you are committed to avoiding negative influences and staying true to my word, right, I choose to focus on God's truth and goodness. Let this be your affirmation of faith today. My beloved, faith and prayer are the cornerstones of your relationship with me. They are the channels through which you connect with my heart and access the power of my love. Without faith, it is impossible to please me, and without prayer, your spirit will wither like a plant without water.